with extra bucks and extra coupons resulted in extra brow and an eyeliner products that of course I did not need. But I wanted to try them out because it's Maybelline and L'Oreal. So first up from Maybelline is their Brow Fast Sculpt. I went ahead and just picked it up in clear. I believe they have different shades. So that's what the packaging looks like. It's pretty small. I don't think this is new, new. It's new to me. I'm going to be trying out L'Oreal a long wear brow top coat. This is what the packaging looks like. So this is supposed to be the waterproof, smudge proof, the top coat for your brows, only one shade. And it's supposed to lock them into place with that extra strong grip. Then I have Maybelline's Express Brow. This is the two-in-one pencil and a powder. I tend to not like where it has a powder on the other side. I have no idea why. I just don't like it, <laughs> the constant dip into that side. But I'm curious, it says natural full brows and it's supposed to just last all day. Of course, everything is supposed to last all day and we'll see. This one I'm real excited for because my favorite liquid liner that I discovered this year is from Maybelline. So this is the Hyper Easy Eyeliner No Slip Pencil. So this is supposed to be that smooth tip very thin. First will be the Express one in um, black brown. I really, black brown, that can be anything. It can be that chocolate rich fudge brownie shade. This is what it looks like when you swivel it up. So it has that typical slant thinness on one side, thickness as far as the um, the overall, you know, when you look at it dead on. And then the powder, which I'm gonna open up. Okay, here's the color. So you have that sponge tip. There you go. As expected, there really isn't that much in here. Let me see if I can do this again so you can see it. Oh, there we go. Perfect, see? Hey, really ain't nothing up in there. Mm-hmm. You may we may get a few uses out of this. We're gonna think positive. Happy, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Let me go ahead and swatch the shade. I just went straight on with one of the uh, pointed ends. That is black brown. And that actually is going to work on me. And let me use the powder real quick. And as expected, I mean, not a lot of powder came out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and fill it in with this powder and if really nothing comes out, I'm gonna start dinging the points right there. Maybelline, you, th you thought you were gonna get off because usually I come in here ready. Maybelline's like, she, al she always on our case. Case, you know, Stephanie, leave us alone. Mm-mm. Maybelline, you all, you make it too easy for me sometimes, Maybelline. You, you really do. Well, that's a perfect color. I'll zoom in later. But um, I think that the texture of this product, which is going on extremely smooth and extremely thin, you know what this reminds me of? Benefit precisely my brow. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. And um, I could just fill it in with just, you know, the middle portion of this texture. You see how fast that was? Look at that just thin little tail. Okay, use the side of the tip. And then the other side, the other thin side, go ahead and start filling in to connect. I'm gonna go ahead and dip back into the powder. I kind of like pumped it. And let's see right here in this little bald spot if I'm gonna see anything fill in. Okay, I see just a little bit of the so-called powder going in there, but it's very, it's very light. Okay, so what would this indicate, class? What would this indicate? As expected, there just really isn't a lot of powder on here. So I am just going to tip 
squeeze that back up and then I can stay like that. And I'm just gonna work from the actual texture of the product itself. And yes, it is filling it in. It's not coming out like in chunks, you know what I mean? Like breaking off here and there. This is giving you that control and you can use as much as you need to fill in your brow, but it's not going all over the place. It's really staying put. For demo purposes for today, I really want to be testing out the uh, L'Oreal one as far as the top coat. This is again claiming to be 30 hours. I'm not gonna be testing it for no 30 hours. Not, I don't be sitting up here sleeping in my make makeup. I'm not no black, I'm not the black dolly. You know, what is she, um, what did she say, Dolly Parton's name? Ambulance ready, 911 ready, girl. That's the last thing on my mind if you need to be calling the ambulance at, you know, three, three, whatever, two o'clock in the morning, okay? Here's what the brow brush looks like. This actually has a slant to it, which I don't know why. Why does it curve up like that? Let me see if it says on here ultra precise brush it says shake well before use interesting let's do that why check the other side oh it's a liquid it's a liquid i'm expecting it to be like a gel huh okay let me stop do your makeup with your own product seal your brows with long wear top coat okay huh doesn't say why the brow brush is slanted, but this is interesting. Do not use near flame or heat. fire, flame, or heat. Flammable until dry. Okay. <laughs> why am I why am I laughing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm just kind of thinking, where would you be if you're gonna be putting this on? <laughs> until it's dry. Okay, I don't know. My, I have a vivid imagination, so that's why. Oh, this feels wet, wet. Instantly, my hairs are going up and ready to be locked into place. Okay. This is very wet. Very wet. This brow has a reddish tint to it because of that um express brow what's up with that that's that black brown kidoki let's see this side do you see a reddish tint i'll check it a little bit more once i'm in editing but i don't like that okay it's all right it's, it's changing color on me that's why i just needed it in black try not to get too much on just go like that and they're locked and that was fast but flammable until dry don't have no um um fire starter nearby I'm trying to find my fan one second <laughs> My final thoughts, I'm actually gonna give it to you in the order of what I like the most down to what I feel is the least. So first starting with the Maybelline Brow Scalped Sculpt Mascara Gel. This I really like. Now, I have it in clear, so I feel that for the, if you wanna grab the clear one, you're gonna get that brow that is controlled as far as your hair. It's going to last, it's gonna hold in place. There's no crunchiness, there's no white flakes, nothing. If you grab the colored ones, so like the black, the brown, whatever ones they have, that's where I feel you're going to see probably that difference with the brush. So the color itself, then you can start maneuvering it. Do I use the bigger side of the brush, you know, in my brow, and then use the shorter side of the brush to smooth out the tail. But again, the clear, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. So this one for sure, I will continue to use. And it's also something I see 
see myself repurchasing in the future. Next is the L'Oreal Unbelievable or Unbelieve 3D Brow. Now, this is what's funny about it. I feel that the marketing tactics for this product, the, the liquid sound, it's giving off the vibe that it's doing what it's advertised to do. Like this is gonna be something that's gonna be super strong, almost kind of maybe like a glue, you know, the glue brow products. And it's gonna last all day as you sleep, you know, all that mess. My experience, and I used it twice, one on a very hot day um, swimming, and I noticed that I, I didn't put my face in the water, but what I noticed is my brows looked the same and the hold was the same as if I had worn uh, or used this one, if I had used the other uh, brow gels in my current collection. So I don't see a difference in the hold, the actual, my hairs, do they, do they feel like you know, like harder. There's no crunch to it. Actually, it was soft. My brows felt soft. It didn't dry down to anything like plastered and the hold just looked like anything. So for that alone, I feel this is a skip for myself because I just have all these other brow gels to use too. And I don't feel that it is in alignment with what it's being advertised for. The third one is the one I, I didn't get to demo yet, is the Hyper Easy Eyeliner, the Maybelline one. Now I'm wearing it today, so this is the second time I've worn it, and I will not use this pencil again. I understand the concept, very thin, very thin, micro point pencil. I'm gonna show you this up close. This black shade is something I would say is a soft black. So it is not a true black in my opinion. It is not, and it actually just crumbled on my hand right now to show you. So let me just go ahead and show you that. There you go. Even though it looks like it's going to be nice and deep and rich on the eye, it's not, unfortunately. So what I did to kind of show you, you know, it's hard to show it, I have um, it on my waterline. Now the aspect of it, no slipping, no tugging, that was 100% accurate. This just glided right on, swoop and swoop back. Same thing when I had worn it on the top lash line. So those claims are, 100, like I said, 100% accurate. I'm just gonna put on now the Mario pencil so you can see the difference that I'm talking about. If it even shows, like this is the lower lash line with that. And um, when I add the Mario, it's just, it's night and day. See the difference between this waterline and that. This just looks like I don't have anything on. So for that alone, no, it's not staying. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better for to look in the mirror and be like black, black. And then last, Maybelline again, is the Express Brow. So this would have been probably my second favorite had it not turned color that reddish all through my brows, just that overall brow color. And um, the texture of this was so good, how easy it went on. See, those are some high points, and I like that. But I have to knock off this, this powder mess on the, on the other side. This just really makes it just so low, rank it low, in my opinion. So, no, I want no part of this at all. Um, and I, I have to think of it like that, too. That's me. I don't care if it's a dollar I'm spending because this is like, five, six, seven dollars. I want it, the entire product, to do what it's claiming to do. So this side better work, the powder, and this side better work, the pencil, and the formula itself better not change. If it says black brown or black on the package, it better stay that color on my skin. And overall, that to me indi would indicate, is this worth the price? And in my opinion, there's just too many dings. Now, the other colors may work. They may stay that way on your skin or the black brown may stay that way on your skin too. But on me, mm -mm, that is number four 
But and let me know if you've even tried any of these and leave your experiences and so forth in the comments. And that'll help not only me, but also people that come along and watch the video. Thank you everyone for stopping by it and watching as always, always, always appreciate it. Just spending some time with me. Uh, please subscribe if you're new. Come on back. And as always, I am going to see you in the next video. Bye.